When I was 14, I met this boy at this club in school. Um, his name was Yvonne, and he was tall, okay looking, and very shy. I don't know what I was thinking back then, but I thought he was cute. We started to talk to each other, and since he was two years older, he needed to teach me everything about the club. Now, of course, I didn't dare to hurt his feelings and reject him, so I said yes. You know, I was just naive, and one time when he asked me out to a park, he kissed me. And just like that, my first kiss was taken. We continued to hang out with one another. Our friends all supported our relationship, really. We took a lot of pictures, and on our third month anniversary, he told me I should make our relationship public. Now, of course, I was skeptical. Because Ivan was like the shy type. He was sweet and honestly quite insecure. I had to be the bigger one in the relationship and comfort him, which made me feel a little pressured, you know. Um, it started getting worse when I told him about my past. My senior committed died when I was 12 and that really scared me. Now at first, it was just like, I can't live without you. After I posted it got many likes. But the day after, our school's disciplinary teacher came to me and brought me to the principal's office. Now of course, I tried a reason saying that he told me to, but they told me that it was my account and I had to be suspended because it was public display of affection. I was devastated, like why did I let myself do this? It hurt me, and I had so many unhealthy thoughts. My classmates heard about it and shamed me, it was just really painful. During that week of suspension, I couldn't use my phone, but after that, he started threatening me saying, if you dare leave me, I will die, just like your senior dead. Now the thing is, we already broke up. Young me was scared and floods of memories came back to me, and just like that, I suffered through more mental pressure for many months. His messages were always about him being insecure about something, and if I were to comfort him, it would be my fault. And if I didn't, I was to be blamed for not caring about him. It hurt me, until one day I just decided to ignore his messages, hoping he'd take the hint already. I stopped messaging him intimately, but he wouldn't back off. After that, I sent a long message of how I felt and just blocked him. You know, it felt great and empowering. His friends did message me saying that he is sad and depressed because of me, but I stopped myself and went on with my life. Now I can say I'm in a happier place with someone who can treat me with respect, love, and care.